we gotta stay safe and friends and family do too. Let's build a plan and a kit we can use and share the lessons we learn with everyone in our crew. Hey everyone! With Pedro! Natural tuxedo, I'm prepared for any occasion. Come on and prepare with Pedro. Hmm, I got it in here. Now, how do I get it out? Oh, ahoy! Pedro here. You know, I talk a lot about preparing for emergencies, but you know what else is really important? Preparing in our minds. I'm talking about coping skills. Coping skills are tools we use to take action when our not-so-good feelings start churning like a stormy sea. Oh, hey, want to hear a story of a seabird's coping quest? Yeah. Come, me hearties, follow me tail. Yo-ho! Here we go. This is Pedro the Penguin, and today is his birthday. Every year, Pedro liked to take a moment to remember everything he'd done with his friends since his last birthday. But the last year had been tough, and suddenly, Pedro began to feel a not-so-good feeling. Oh boy, it's all coming back in a big way. What do I do with all these, all these feelings? Easy, birthday boy. Take a sec. Breathe. That's it. Remember how we learned to be prepared in here, Pedro? I... I can't remember. I'm still all swirly. It's all good, pal. You know, sometimes when we go through something hard, it can make us feel some not so good feelings. And those feelings can grow really big, so we don't know what to do. But that's why we have coping skills, tools that can help us feel better. <gasps> At last, an idea has struck me noggin. How about we turn our treasure hunt into a coping quest to help Pedro remember his coping skills? Aye, aye! And not until we find the treasure will we all feast on yonder cupcakes. Yeah! Yo Let's go! Aye, aye! Yar! Yar! I love it! <clears throat> Yar, I could really use everyone's help. Then hoist the main sail, Pedro! Hooray! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Hmm, let's see here. What's this? Oh, just another seabird. <clears throat> Land ho! Seems we've run aground, Pedro. And if me compass is correct, I think this be Emotion Island, home of the six-headed sea dog. Summer? What's that? Hmm, curious. Ahoy, stranger and woof! It is I, the six-headed sea dog. Those seeking treasure need only one glance at my map. But it's mine and you can't have it! Unless you lull me to sleep. <laughs> but to do that, you'd have to know the secret song. You know, the one about looking at the emotion on each of my faces and naming yours. Gah! Now I've done it! <gasps> Shiver me simpers, Pedro. Let's look at the emotion on each face. And name yours. Think you can follow along? What's your big feeling? What's your big feeling? Breathe in slow and, and out the same. Picture your emotion. Picture your emotion. Give it a name. Give it a name. <sighs> Sad, worried, angry, scared, anxious. Anxious! That's what I'm feeling! Blimey! He nailed it! Eyelids getting heavy. <sighs> Here's the first half of your map, buddy. And remember, it's okay to feel any of these emotions. Naming what you're feeling can help you understand it better. Thanks, Sea Dog. I'll remember. Okay, it says here Purple Beard's Lagoon. Walk down her deck, repeat her song get a clue to inspect, and move it along. But be very quiet, she's in a calm spot. When she gets agitated, she squash buckles a lot. Spot 
day, spa day. Everyone loves a spa day. Ah, at last. With me veggie eye mask, a sailor can relax. Mmm, sea breeze. What's this? Yar, Pedro. I see you've managed to escape the sea dog with half a map, and you're eager for the other. Come, walk the deck to me, Tank, and we'll test your memory. But beware. I'm still a bit tense, so no loud noises, okay? They give me the antsy pants. You can do it, buddy. <sighs> hmm. Achoo! Yar, loud noises! We squash buckle! On guard! <laughs> That's my bad, purple beard. Seabree sneeze. Yar, apologies. I, I need to relax. Come, let's sing our... Calm place song. Anytime you're starting to fall into a worried headspace, clear your mind and take a deep breath. Picture a calm place, safe and quiet, comfortable too. Everywhere a kind face, you can feel at home in there. Picture a calm place. What does your calm place look like, Pedro? It's cozy and quiet, and my big comfy chair is there. Very good. Now, can you pass the repeat test? Okay, um, anytime you're starting to fall into a worried head space, clear your mind and take a deep breath. Picture a calm place. Ye done me proud. Remember, Pedro, when we feel a big emotion, it's okay to take a moment to calm down by picturing a calm place. Now, take a peek in your cucumber there. She doubles as me map sleeve. Ahem. <clears throat> on most treasure maps, an X marks the spot. But on your special map, the X does not. Find a four-legged circle that cannot walk where loved ones sit to eat and talk. <laughs> Tough one. Could it mean the kitchen table? What's all this? You did it, Pedro. You found your circle. Circle of support. A circle of support. Anywhere you go, you know a circle of support. Grab some paper and a pen. Here's something you can try. Draw a little circle with your face inside. Think of all the folks you know will help you out. And draw all their faces in a roundabout. Now draw a bunch of lines. Connecting face to face. Mine's connecting everyone all over the place. Take a good look at all those little lines. Those are all the helpers you can lean on any time. Circle of support, they're your circle of support. Anywhere you go, you know a circle of support. Pedro, we all have big feelings. Remember that you're not alone. You can share your feelings with anyone in your circle of support and they'll be here for you. Now that's friendship. Hooray! Hooray! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Pedro. Pedro! Favorite penguin. Best birthday ever. Chill out with Pedro. There are no words. Just what a great group of friends. I learned some really important coping skills. And I think it's only right that we recap in song. If you ever feel a heavy feeling that grows and grows until you don't know what to do, try this. What's your big feeling? What's your big feeling? Breathe in slow and out the same. Picture your emotion. Picture your emotion. Give it a name. Nice. Then another trick for making yourself feel calmer. Anytime you're starting to fall into a worried headspace, clear your mind and take a deep breath. Picture a calm place. And finally, an exercise that really helped me a whole lot. If you're feeling kind of scared, sad or worried too, picture all the people who are there for you. Circle of support, circle of support. Anywhere you go, you know a circle of support. Friends, it's okay to have big feelings. And it's okay to take a moment to calm down and share your feelings with your circle of support. When you're in a safe spot, 
I hope you'll give these coping skills a try. And take care of each other out there, mateys. <laughs> Catch you later. To learn more, visit redcross.org.